that's all you need to have a good comedy show is just good people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, some people come to comedy shows mad. If you got a demon on you right now, you need to get the fuck out, man. <laughs> some people come, comedy can't help you. You might need to go to church, see a rabbi, get some Prozac, something like that, man. Cause some people come mad, I'm not lying. I saw my first year in comedy, I saw a comedian get knocked out on stage doing some damn jokes. Will Smith did not invent slapping the shit out of comedians. It's been going on a long time, man. My first year in comedy, we was doing an urban show. Urban is black. <laughs> doing an urban show. Now, back in the 2000s, a lot of black comedians used to wear championship belts. That would mean that you were the headliner. You're the funniest comedian on the show, right? The headliner that night was a brother named Dr. Stupidness. He would come out with a championship belt. His wife was like, his ring car girl was a big deal. Now, I'm a new comedian. I don't know how to handle a heckler yet. All I know is how to do my jokes, get the hell off stage. So I'm gonna use you, I'm not talking to you, I'm just using you as a point of reference. It's looking like, you know, fake Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna use you, I'm not talking to you, okay? So imagine, he got like dreads, I know it's hard to imagine. He got dreads, <laughs> so, I don't know why people are doing this to you. He had dreads and gold teeth and he's drunk, he's heckling everybody. Now I just do my jokes and talk over the brother. Dr. Stupidness comes out, grabs the championship belt, looks right at the dude. Now I'm not talking to you, this is what he said, okay? Looks right at him, he goes, hey pussy boy. That's a very aggressive way to start your damn comedy show, man. <laughs> hey, pussy boy, I ain't one of these bitch ass niggas. He was talking about me. <laughs> and the other comedians, man. I ain't one of these bitch ass niggas you been fucking with all night, dog. When I get on stage, you gonna shut the fuck up? That dude said, yeah. You ever seen somebody get undrunk? <laughs> Immediately, like the liquor got scared. <laughs> and ran out the brother's body. He jumps on stage from a seated position. Hi -ya. And he saw, he, he saw walking around Dr. Stupidness like a shark. He started circling him, right? Now Dr. Stupidness want to tighten up. He was like, security. Security. Security was not trying to help him. On the third circle, the dude cocked back, bow, knocked Dr. Stupidness the fuck out. Now, had there been a mainstream show, mainstream is white. Had there, been, had there had been a mainstream show, it would have got awkward in there, right? But black people, we don't do awkward, you understand? We don't let it cook. As soon as it got knocked out, an old black lady stood up in the back. She said, oh, Lord. <laughs> the champ done lost the belt. <laughs> in the damn show, man. But I'm glad, man. There's some fun stuff happening this year for me, man. God has been good, man. I got some cool stuff happening. I got to, like, you know, developing a cartoon stuff. is fun, man. Like, like my, I should have been famous a long time ago. I should have, man, yeah. I had a good story. If you want to be famous, you got to have a good story, okay? I had a good story going. My real pops, Puerto Rican dude, been locked up my whole life, never met him, right? My mom was 16 when she had me. That sounds like somebody is going to the NBA. <laughs> Might write a dope rap album, something like that. Then my stepdad came to my life when I was one years old and messed it up, man. Little Jamaican dude came and just, just loved me. <laughs> loved me right to mediocrity, man. <laughs> Tell you something, man. You can't be successful with unconditional love. You sound, you sound. No, there's no motivation. Too many hugs, it messes up your jump shot. You understand? Know <laughs> it's bad for the form. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be a rapper. You can't rap from stability. <laughs> it don't sound good, man. I hit the block, I had the worst raps on the block. I'd be like, the dad never cheated on mom. <laughs> he treated her right. Tucked me in, bedtime stories every night. What the hell? <laughs> I'm trying to hate, but it's hard when you got food in your plate. God damn it. <laughs> it was not cool to have a daddy. I grew up in the hood in Miami. It was not cool to have a daddy in my hood. The only cool daddy in my hood was Trick Daddy. Like if you had a <laughs> like some people knew Trick. If you had <laughs> like if you had a daddy, it could ruin your tough guy reputation at school, man. People start talking about you, be like, hey dog, I heard you had a daddy. What? <laughs> Get your old punk ass boy, I ain't got no daddy, huh? <laughs> Tell you something, okay, the streets is my daddy. Okay, that's right, that's right, the streets raised me. My mama sat in the street too long and got pregnant, okay? I'm part black and part concrete. <laughs> and then my stepdad come out and mess it up. He called me a little Jamaican dude, shiny, shiny pool. He called me Shawnee Pooh because I look like Winnie the Pooh. I was, yeah, I was fat, bald head, I ain't had no pants on. <laughs> Shiny pool, coming out the house, man, make your some rice crispy treats. 
coming out of the house. My friends would be like, who is that? I'd be like, that's my parole officer, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Very involved in my life. But they proud of me, man. They proud of me, man. I've been doing good. Like, I got married last year, man. I got married, yeah. No, not last, couple years. Couple, I forgot, Shit, two years. It's been two years, I love it. Yeah, time flies, man. I love it. Beautiful black woman, too. I see some sisters in here, man. Let me tell you something, man. Sisters are the baddest mother, they the baddest people on this planet. You know what I'm saying? They the beautiful, they bold, they tough, okay? But I'm gonna tell you something. Anybody thinking about marrying a black woman, I see a couple. If you're thinking about marrying a black woman, let me tell you something, you better love her, okay? You better love her. Cause it's hard to kill him. <laughs> it's damn near impossible. You know what I'm saying? Black, <laughs> black women are like cats. <laughs> you know how a cat don't never fully trust you? A cat always looking at your ass. Like, what you putting in his milk? That's how black women are. I'ma prove my point. It's a show on television called Forensic Files. Love this show. Seen every episode eight times. Love this show. Two black women on that show. One of them didn't even die. I'm gonna tell you both stories. <laughs> the first one, she did die. She was dating a white dude. White dude don't miss. Y'all are fishing. <laughs> shot her right in the head. Boom, head shot, right? But here's where he messed up. He tried to make it look like a suicide. He put the gun in the hand, wrote a bullshit note, did all this stuff, made it look like a suicide. Detective walks in. Here go the first clue that broke the case wide open. Detective comes in and he goes, uh-huh. Black lady? Suicide? Mm-mm. <laughs> black women don't do that. <laughs> did you know that less than 1% of all suicides in America are black women? Black women gotta deal with racism and sexism and still be like, nah, I'ma try again tomorrow, motherfucker. <laughs> They don't give up, so if you kill one, don't make it look like suicide, nobody believe you. The other one, it was a brother, he was with his wife for 30 years, right? He got sick of her, found a young woman. He said, I'm gonna buy some arsenic, kill my wife, run off with the younger woman, right? So the brother buys some arsenic, he started pouring it in his wife's coffee. Wife wouldn't drink the coffee. She's like, when you start making coffee, motherfucker? <laughs> she wouldn't drink it, right? So you know, if a brother buys some arsenic, we gonna use it, you know what I'm saying? So the brother, he snuck into her job on the weekend, he stole her work badge, Broke into her job on the weekend. Poured the arsenic in the water cooler. He said, damn it, I'll kill everybody. I'll kill everybody in this office just to kill my wife. But if you know anything about arsenic, you can't pour too much because you get a bitter taste. You know what I'm saying? It'll kill somebody, but they'll know something going on. Luckily, Monday morning comes, white lady. Gets the first, no wait, no, wait a minute. Don't do that to me, don't tell. Wait a minute. Don't, don't do that. I'm not happy that a white woman died. Shame on you. No, shame on you. I'm not happy that anybody died. Wait a minute. I'm, no, I'm happy that it was a white woman because she died a hero, okay? That's right, man. The white lady gets the first drink on Monday morning. She goes, blah, don't drink the water. And she died. Woo. Thank God that one a black person. You know somebody black, oh, snap, taste this. <laughs> It's fucked up. Black people don't drink bad shit by themselves. <laughs> Everybody gotta have some. But no, man. Yeah, I'm glad to be married, man. And you gotta keep doing fun stuff. How y'all dating each other, man. If there's any married people, don't forget that you're still supposed to date your wife. Still, still supposed to do fun stuff, you know? Me and my wife, we figured out we both like to play basketball, right? So yeah, it was fun, we have fun, we play basketball. She better than me, I ain't gonna lie, she tricky. She like Luka Doncic, you know what I'm saying? She like, <laughs> but I'm like Shaq, cause I'm bigger than her, I'll just take it to the hole. <laughs> the other day, we was having a good game, man. It was 10 to 10, we were going to 11. This is when I realized how much I love my wife. I hit my wife with a jab step like this, boom. My wife, her knee buckles. Her entire body weight falls on her left ankle and she's on the ground looking at me. Now no man wants to see his wife in pain or afraid. And in this moment my wife is both because she has no idea how bad this injury is. But what you need to understand, don't tell, the play is still live. <laughs> and it's game point. <laughs> so I rose up on that thing. I shot it, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is I missed. I had to jump over her dumb ass. <laughs> Not to put back, but guys, thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate you. You love you, don't tell. Have a great night.